Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about how to find the probabilities from the standard normal table. So, what standard normal probability table was discussed in our last class when we discussed about the standard normal distribution. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So this is the table provided for us to find the probabilities using this table. So what's this table? How to use this table to find the probabilities required for us? That is what we are going to understand. We do multiple examples. First we will understand what's this table. How to use this table. See here. If you were random variable, standard normal random variable z is given as 1.45. This table is going to provide the probability value from 0 to 1.45. If you search this table, how to search it, we will uh, we'll explain you. If you search this table, you will get the probability value from 0 to 1.45. Means the area under the curve 0 to 1.45. That is what this table is going to provide and they have provided you only on one side. It is going to provide only probability on one side. That's enough. Why that is enough? We already know normal distribution is symmetric. Finding probability from 0 to 1.45 is same as finding probability from 0 to minus 1.45. Both are same area. It is symmetric about the mean. That's why one side is enough to find the probabilities of the normal distribution, standard normal distribution. So that's why they have provided only. And one more important point you have to understand, left hand side from the mean, the area under this curve is 0.5. Right hand side under the mean, uh, under this curve, the area under this curve is 0.5. Total probability is 1. So these points, based on these points, we will solve the different examples. Now coming to this, you, it was given as 1.45 as our random variable z. How to find the, how to use this table to find the probability value? See, z value is 1.45. On the left hand side, you go with 1.4. So what's the second decimal point value? 5. You will go with 1.4. You search the column 0 0.05 means 1.45 so this is the value 0 0.4265 0 0.4265 this is how we use this table to find the probabilities required for, for the z values 1.4 if it was given 2.45 if you search this table what's the probability you are going to get 0 to 2.45 what is the probability what is the area that satisfies under the curve from 0 to 2.45 that area it is going to provide this table is going to provide how to find that 0 0.25 0 0.2 we go for 5 so this is 0 0.25 so this 0.05 shows the second digit after decimal this shows the first digit and the previous digits in the decimal value so 1.4 after after decimal it is showing one one digit one digit this shows the second digit this is how we use this table to find the probability values now we are going to do some examples see here probability of minus 1 less than z less than 1 if you want to identify the probability from minus 1 to 1 graphical intuition will help you so we need to identify minus 1 to 1 1 by square root of 2 pi e power minus z square by 2 this is the equation we have to use to find the area instead of that we are using this table so minus 1 to 1 this is the area we are going to identify we know that this is symmetric 0 to 1 you can identify 0 to minus 1 same area same area symmetric so our z value is 1.00 so 1 means 1.00 you can write it as a so 2 times probability of z z is 1.00 2 times probability of z means 0 to 1 0 to minus 1 that's why multiplied by 2 times so how to identify 1.00 from the table 1.00 0, 0. 0.00 1.00 is given as 0 0.3413 
So 0.3413 multiplied by 2, we will get it as 0 0.683. In our last class, when we discussed about the prob pro prob uh, properties of normal distribution, so the, this minus 1 means one standard deviation from the mean value, plus 1 means one standard deviation from the mean value towards the right. These, the, the area under this curve, this values is always 68%. That is what we got here, 68%. So from the property, so it's uh, this probability, this is how we identify. So now coming to the next one, probability of 0 0.87 less than Z less than 1.28. We need to identify the area from 0 0.87 to 1.28 means we have to identify this area. But from the probability table, what we are going to get uh, probability of 0 0.87 means 0 to 0 0.87. This yellow line area, we got it as this is the area we are going to get. Probability of 1.28 means 0 to 1.28 that is so blue line area that is the area you are going to get but we need this area 0 0.87 to 1.28 means we need to minus so we, probability of 1.28 minus probability of 87 0 0.87 will give the required area this is the area you are going to get so we need some basic understanding and we have to identify the probability values how to identify the probability of 1.28 so from the probability table so 1.2 in this line you have to go with 0 0.08 means this is the value 3.0.3997 similarly 0 0.87 0 0.8 you go with 0 0.07 so this is the value so this is how we need to check this table and find, write the probability values so the probability values are 0 0.3997 minus 0 0.3078 so finally the area under the required area is 0 0.0919 similarly if you want to identify probability of z greater than 0.85 means we need the area 0.85 greater than 0.85 we need this area we already know this right hand side what is the probability value 0.5 so 0.5 minus 0 0.85 probability of 0 0.85 means this area if you subtract this area you will get the required area so that is how we write the 0.5 minus probability of 0 0.85 it is 0 0.5 minus 0 point, uh, 0 0.85 is 0 0.3023. We are not showing again the table. So if you subtract this, final value is our probability, required probability. So this is how we need some understanding about probability and normal distribution. The, uh, and uh, using the table, we can identify the probability values. Hope you understand how to find the probability values given the Z table, means uh, standard normal table. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, Please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.